It was my precious day off from the adventure playground where I worked, so I was not pleased when I looked up from my newspaper to see three of the most difficult teenagers who used the playground come stomping down the garden path. I thought they'd come to catch money or cigarettes, but I was wrong. We're leaving school in three weeks. Can you teach us to read? They were 16 years of age. Each of them had received 11 years of compulsory education, and yet not one of these hulking, quick-witted lads could read so much as a cornflakes packet. There's a new girl at our school. Her name's Pandora. I adore her. Oh, her friends call her Box. Don't ask me why. I might fall in love with her. It's time I fell in love. After all, I am 13 and three quarters years old. I said, Pandora, you got eyes just like my dog. She said, really, Adrian, really? I said, yes, he's a mongrel. It's my favorite line. With Daddy and Mammy, stand in Daddy and Mammy, stand in Daddy and Mammy, stand in Mammy. Well, I met Sue when I played Adrian Mole on the first, on uh, one of my first lead parts on television, Adrian Mole, the Cappuccino years. Uh, when Adrian was 30 years old. And I first met her, I went to an audition to play the part. She was going blind at the time, couldn't see very well. She told me that Adrian couldn't be too good looking. She pulled out a massive magnifying glass, came right up within a few inches of my face, scanned me all over and said, you'll do. <laughs> so I was obviously not good looking enough to play the part. She was a wonderful, warm, clever, funny, uh, intelligent, witty person. You can see that by the turnout of people, how loved she was. She was one of them people, the first time I did meet her, you know, I was a bit, it's Sue Townsend, you know, and had written these fabulous novels, Adrian Moll, etc. And I thought, and she just came up to me and we just, it was like I'd met her years before, you know, she, she was just a warm, friendly, lovely person. I remember her way back in, what, the late 1970s, when she was just beginning her, uh, her writing career, uh, very much based at the, what was then the Phoenix Arts Centre in Leicester. The Phoenix has subsequently lost its name, it's now just known by its address as Upper Brown Street. Well, I am certainly determined that we should remember Sue in Leicester and how better to remember her than by giving it a proper name now and renaming what was the Phoenix as the Sue Townsend Theatre. Well we're very proud to hold this. Um, I think the city is proud of Sue. Um, Sue always remained very um, close to the city and always kept her feet on the ground and I think that the people of the city really um, uh, really uh, respected that with Sue and I think bringing Sue back into the hall where she first of all was given the freedom of the city and also we understand came and saw concerts here as well um, kind of keeps that leveller and keeps that, that whole thing in keeping. 